The MAGA wish list that Speaker McCarthy released last week is DOA. His default on America plan is dead on arrival. It is so damaging and so unpopular to the American people that MAGA Republicans are using secret backroom deals and default threats to jam through cuts that would never pass in public. But when it comes to protecting their wealthy fossil fuel donors, they spare no expense. Not only would this cost 780,000 jobs, it would also shrink the economy by $146 billion next year, with cuts up to 33 percent for border security, law enforcement, job training, affordable energy, <coughs> opioid treatment, housing, food programs, and health insurance. For big donors, McCarthy's proposal would also slash IRS enforcement capacity to go after wealthy tax cheats, a move that would add nearly $120 billion to the deficit. The U.S. Constitution lays out transparent tools to raise revenue and determine government spending. It happens through bicameral legislating, through the budget and appropriations processes, not through hostage-taking and blackmail on behalf of fossil fuel mega-donors. This default on America plan shows how captured the Republican Party is by the fossil fuel industry. Almost 280 pages of this 320-page bill are devoted to fossil fuel giveaways, resending the clean energy tax credits on which they are campaigning in their home districts, the projects that they support. Going back to leaking wasteful methane emissions without penalty, a permitting reform <laughs> described especially for the fossil fuel industry, designed especially for the fossil fuel industry. And of course, obstacles to the agencies that protect clean air and clean water from fossil fuel polluters. They're proposing to roll back progress on the climate crisis, putting their fossil fuel overlords over hundreds of thousands of clean energy workers, including those in their very districts. The message is stark, polluters first, people second. This isn't about debt and deficits. It's not about limiting, saving, and growing. It's not about defunding woke government. It's about the big fossil fuel donors that keep them in power. In this case, the woke screen truly is a smoke screen, and the smoke is from all the extra oil and gas the fossil fuel industry would have us burn. DOA is dirty, and DOA is dead. Thank you. Leadership. Leadership.